guys thanks for coming back to the channel in this video we're going to talk about bitconnect and texas it looks like texas are using the bitconnect name in order for them to get visits and it's getting very popular everyone pretty much have heard the latest foot surrounding bitconnect and texas and that is the fact that texas has issued a very recently i think a day or two ago a cease and disease order for BitConnect and people are panicking. Now, let me tell you one thing. Texas is not the world. Texas is just a small part of the United States and they have no control over BitConnect. BitConnect it is not based in the United States. It is not based in Texas. And um, the only thing can happen from this season, the season order, as far as I think so, they can obviously stop uh, the BitConnect site possibly uh, operating in the Texas region. I think I find it hard to believe that this is going to happen, but you just never know. If you do live in Texas, you may be affected. If you live outside Texas, you have nothing to worry. I mean, let's go back a few months ago when uh, China said they're going to ban Bitcoin and they're going to uh, ban the uh, Bitcoin exchanges. They did it for a while. Uh, obviously, the people that lived in China had a little bit of difficulties to possibly uh, use exchanges and whatnot, but they did find a way. They used the local Bitcoins websites, they moved to other countries, and they were still able to use Bitcoin and exchanges. Did this stop uh, the rest of the world exchanges, or did this obviously did any effect on the Bitcoin in general? Yes, affected the price for a while, but nothing else. So the same thing I'm seeing uh, happening with BitConnect with the, at the moment. Yes, probably it's gonna have a little bit of a negative effect on it, simply because people these days uh, use BitConnect to get views. That's that's the reality of it. Everyone is talking about BitConnect, especially if you have nothing else to talk about. You come on the YouTube channel, you start talking uh, things that you don't even know what you're talking about, and all of a sudden you get tens of thousands of views, and uh, that's it. The same thing right here. Everyone now is gonna talk about BitConnect, is gonna talk about Texas and as I said Texas is gonna get lots of visits probably but nothing else I I don't think that this it's gonna have any effect on the BitConnect platform uh, that it's gonna slow it down in any way or shape or form or that it's gonna disappear all of a sudden simply because Texas has uh, obviously issued this cease and disease order it just gives great um, opportunity to the footers out there the one that obviously like to I talk about third when it comes to bitconnect is going to give them another document that they can just post out there on the uh, social medias on the youtube channels and just keep talking and keep reading uh, the document and probably don't even understand most of it simply because um let's be honest we are not lawyers we don't know exactly how things work but as i said in my opinion nothing will happen uh, obviously even here they're using the uk address the uk uh, limited company which a few months ago again there was a lot of thought that the bitcoin is going to close down because uh even in the united kingdom there was a issue that the company hasn't filed a certain document as you can see and uh, nothing has happened in fact bitconnect has a different company and everything is working just fine at the end of the day what's the reason behind this i don't know let's be honest with each other is it the fact that they are not liking the texas uh, government is not liking the fact that people are moving their money out from the banks and investing into cryptocurrency and obviously part of this being bitconnect uh is it something else is it somebody that in the parliament of texas whatever you, i don't know how it works down there that maybe has a grunge uh for cryptocurrency or bitconnect there's so many things that uh, obviously could have triggered this uh seize and disease upon an order but remember it is only for the people that live in texas nothing to do with any other states in the united states or any other part of the world as you can see the website is working everything will continue in my opinion to work nothing will happen it's just going to be a foot for quite some time people's going to talk about it people's going to uh, try to speculate uh, try to obviously put down bitconnect and eventually they will realize um they can't nothing they can't do anything uh it's it's one of those things guys tomorrow another state a, st uh, a state in the united states or another country could come out and say we're banning something else uh it, we can see it obviously happening quite a lot uh you know as of recently when it comes to cryptocurrency governments are issuing different 
uh, bans, different obviously rules, uh, harder checks and whatnot. I mean, all, uh, up until recently, pretty much the United States government was uh, obviously on the case of Coinbase, and you should check that out if you are not aware of it. Uh, simply because that's what happens with governments. They want to control everything. They want to know everything. And if they can't do it, they're going to find a way to either shut it down or to uh, slow it down, to spread further around it, simply because it's the government. We got to listen to them. They know everything that is good for us and uh, we have to obey. Hopefully that's not going to be the case uh, for the people in Texas. And eventually, if you do want to enjoy BitConnect, it's, you know, you should have the rights to do so. Uh, in the end of the day, uh, it's democracy, right? Uh, why should you be uh, stopped to use a site that has no effect uh, on somebody else? If you want to use and invest your own money, if you are old enough to do so, I'd say so. Not for young people, obviously. Then you're making the decision for yourself. Hopefully you're making a right decision. You're not going too crazy and you can enjoy it. Again, as I said, guys, I'm not going to read the document. It's just things talking about how BitConnect uh, works. In fact, um, it's a good document that if you don't know how BitConnect works, you can find out. You know, you lend money, you earn money, great amount of money. Uh, at, uh, that you know, and uh, that's it. That's pretty much what it says in here. In, in fact, it's <laughs> how to use BitConnect. That's what should have saying right here instead of uh, C's and DCs. I should have say emergency. How to use BitConnect? Because to be honest with you, I read the document. I'm not a lawyer, but pretty much it states how to use BitConnect. What BitConnect is and nothing truly bad uh, about it really uh, it just says that people are investing money and that they are not told the risk when you invest money but there are risks in investing money with anything in life i mean uh, even with cryptocurrency uh, you know people invested in verge they bought a 30 cents verge went down to 10 cents they sold they lost lots of money people bought bitcoin at 19,000. now it's uh, 16,000. some people lost money it's one of those things you make an investment obviously it's not guaranteed nothing is guaranteed in life guys so let's continue to enjoy if you are with bitconnect if you're not don't just go with the third or with a channel that has lots of views and is slagging bitconnect because probably uh, even the people that are slagging bitconnect there are some youtubers out there and then the people that are involved with cryptocurrency know which uh, which one they are or who they are i should say um Although they continue to slag about BitConnect, they're still profiting from BitConnect because they have invested into BitConnect. Or maybe they are talking about BitConnect and still invested into BitConnect but not showing it, obviously. You know, they want to get views. And in order for them to get views, you got to say something bad about BitConnect these days. And in the back of their, obviously, mind, they may be like, okay, great, you know, I'm getting the views and at the same time, I'm getting good profits because I'm invested into BitConnect. I can guarantee you guys, there's so many people that are talking about BitConnect currently, talking bad about BitConnect, that actually have investment in BitConnect and they're enjoying the investment and in fact, they're enjoying even the referral programs because they used to be with BitConnect, they no longer promote apparently BitConnect, but uh, uh, pretty much every other video it is about BitConnect. There you have it. That's my two cents in regards to BitConnect, in regards to Texas. And let's move on, enjoy cryptocurrency and let's be honest with each other. Eventually, we would see many, many governments uh, banning many things when it comes to cryptocurrency if it doesn't suit them. And that's what I think is happening right here. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this channel, feel free to subscribe and share. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'll put a link down below to this, uh, obviously, Texas State Securities Board Emergency Seize and Disease Order. Although I should say emergency, how to use uh, BitConnect, because it pretty much states down there how to do so. Nothing really uh, concrete. Why is it bad? Again, as I said, the only thing I saw there is that possibly BitConnect, I'm not telling people that there are risks involved that you can lose money. But you should be smart enough to know that when you invest money into anything in life, you can lose money. It's a fact. That, that's the reality of it. So, if you enjoy the channel, as I said, feel free to subscribe and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now. When it comes to cryptocurrency, governments are issuing different uh, bans, different, obviously, rules, uh, harder checks and whatnot. I mean, all, uh, up until recently, Pretty much the United States government was uh, obviously on the case of Coinbase and you should check that out if you are not aware of it, uh, simply because
that's what happens with governments they want to control everything they want to know everything and if they can't do it they're going to find a way to either shut it down or to uh, slow it down to spread further around it simply because it's the government we got to listen to them they know everything that is good for us and uh, we have to obey hopefully that's not going to be the case uh, for the people in Texas and eventually if you do want to enjoy BitConnect it's you know you should have the rights to do so uh, in the end of the day uh, it's democracy right uh, why should you be uh, stopped to use a site that has no effect uh, on somebody else if you want to use and invest your own money if you are old enough to do so I'd say so not for young people obviously then you're making the decision for yourself hopefully you're making a right decision you're not going too crazy and you can enjoy it Again, as I said, guys, I'm not going to read the document. It's just things talking about how BitConnect uh, works. In fact, um, it's a good document that if you don't know how BitConnect works, you can find out. You know, you lend money, you earn money, great amount of money uh, at, uh, that, you know, and uh, that's it. That's pretty much what it says in here. In, in fact, it's <laughs> how to use BitConnect. That's what should have saying right here instead of uh, C's and DC's, I should say emergency how to use BitConnect because to be honest with you I read the document I'm not a lawyer but pretty much it states how to use BitConnect what BitConnect is and nothing truly bad uh, about it really uh, it just says that people are investing money and that they are not told the risk when you invest money but there are risks in investing money with anything in life I mean uh, even with cryptocurrency uh, you know people invested in Verge they bought a 30 cents Verge went down to 10 cents they sold they lost lots of money people bought Bitcoin at 19,000 now it's uh, 16,000 some people lost money it's one of those things you make an investment obviously it's not guaranteed nothing is guaranteed in life guys so let's continue to enjoy if you are with BitConnect if you're not don't just go with the third or with a channel that has lots of views and is slagging BitConnect because probably uh, even the people that are slagging BitConnect, there are some YouTubers out there and then the people that are involved with cryptocurrency know which uh, which one they are or who they are, I should say. Um, although they continue to slag about BitConnect, they're still profiting from BitConnect because they have invested into BitConnect or maybe they are talking about BitConnect and still invested into BitConnect but not showing it, obviously. You know, they want to get views. Obviously then you're making the decision for yourself hopefully you're making a right decision you're not going too crazy and you can enjoy it again as I said guys I'm not gonna read the document it's just things talking about how BitConnect uh, works in fact um, it's a good document that if you don't know how BitConnect works you can find out you know you lend money you earn money great amount of money uh, at, uh, that you know and uh, that's it that's pretty much what it says in here in, in fact it's <laughs> how to use BitConnect. That's what I should have said right here instead of uh, C's and DC's. I should have said emergency, how to use BitConnect. Because to be honest with you, I read the document. I'm not a lawyer, but pretty much it states how to use BitConnect, what BitConnect is, and nothing truly bad uh, about it, really. Uh, it just says that people are investing money and that they are not told the risk when you invest money. But there are risks in investing money with anything in life i mean uh, even with cryptocurrency uh you know people invested in verge they bought a 30 cents Verge went down to 10 cents they sold they lost lots of money people bought bitcoin at 19,000. now it's uh, 16,000. some people lost money it's one of those things you make an investment obviously it's not guaranteed nothing is guaranteed in life guys so let's continue to enjoy if you are with bitconnect if you're not don't just go with the third or with a channel that has lots of views and is slagging BitConnect because probably uh, even the people that are slagging BitConnect there are some YouTubers out there and then the people that are involved with cryptocurrency know which uh, which one they are or who they are I should say um, although they continue to slag about BitConnect they are still profiting from BitConnect because they have invested into BitConnect or maybe they are talking about BitConnect and still invested into BitConnect but not showing it obviously you know they want to get views and in order for them to get views you gotta say something bad about BitConnect these days and in the back of their obviously mind they may be like okay great you know I'm getting the views and at the same time I'm getting good profits because I'm invested into BitConnect I can guarantee you guys there's so many people that are talking about BitConnect currently talking bad about BitConnect that actually 
have investment in BitConnect and they are enjoying the investment and in fact they are enjoying even the referral programs because they used to be with BitConnect they no longer promote apparently BitConnect but uh, uh, pretty much every other video it is about BitConnect there you have it that's my two cents in regards to BitConnect in regards to Texas and let's move on enjoy cryptocurrency and let's be honest with each other eventually we would see many many governments uh, banning many things when it comes to cryptocurrency if it doesn't suit them and that's what I think it's happening right here thank you guys for watching if you enjoy this channel feel free to subscribe and share if you have any questions feel free to ask me I'll put a link down below to this ban the uh, Bitcoin exchanges they did it for a while uh, obviously the people that lived in China had a little bit of difficulties to possibly uh, use exchanges and whatnot but they did find a way they used the local bitcoins websites they moved to other countries and they were still able to use bitcoin and exchanges did this stop uh the rest of the world exchanges or did this obviously did any effect on the bitcoin in general yes affected the price for a while but nothing else so the same thing i'm seeing uh, happening with bitconnect with the, at the moment yes probably it's gonna have a little bit of a negative effect on it simply because people these days uh use bitconnect to get views that's that's the reality of it. everyone is talking about bitconnect especially if you have nothing else to talk about you come on the youtube channel you start talking uh, things that you don't even know what you're talking about and all of a sudden you get tens of thousands of views and uh, that's it the same thing right here everyone now is going to talk about bitconnect going to talk about Texas and as I said Texas is gonna get lots of visits probably but nothing else I I don't think that this it's gonna have any effect on the BitConnect platform uh, that it's gonna slow it down in any way or shape or form or that it's gonna disappear all of a sudden simply because Texas has uh, obviously issued this cease and disease order it just gives great um, opportunity to the furthers out there the one that obviously like to I talk about third when it comes to bitconnect it's going to give them another document that they can just post out there on the uh, social medias on the youtube channels and just keep talking and keep reading uh, the document and probably don't even understand most of it simply because um let's be honest we are not lawyers we don't know exactly how things work but as i said in my opinion nothing will happen uh, obviously even here they're using the uk address the uk uh, limited company which a few months ago again there was a lot of thought that the bitcoin is going to close down because uh even in the united kingdom there was a issue that the company hasn't filed a certain document as you can see and uh, nothing has happened in fact bitconnect has a different company and everything is working just fine at the end of the day what's the reason behind this i don't know let's be honest with each other is it the fact that they are not liking the texas uh, government is not liking the fact that people are moving their money out from the banks and investing into cryptocurrency and obviously part of this being bitconnect uh is it something else is it somebody that in the parliament of texas whatever you, i don't know how it works down there that maybe has a grunge uh for cryptocurrency or bitconnect there's so many things that uh, obviously could have triggered this uh